Hello everybody, my name is Jessica Ginsberg. I'm the president of Voyager Music Lessons. And today we're gonna to have a conversation with Naomi, who is a Voyager piano instructor. Naomi, welcome. I guess the first question I'd love to ask you is, when did you know that you wanted to pursue music professionally? Yeah, so I first realized that I wanted to do music. It was when I was listening to music. So the album in particular, it's a Hiatus Coyote album, and the album is called Choose Your Weapon. It's kind of like a, a mix between neo-soul, R&B, and jazz, kind of like all fused together. Um, but I was in high school, and I was listening to it, and I just thought to myself, like, wow, it would be so cool if I could like go on tour with this band. I started with classical when I was five. So, you know, at the age of five, I really didn't want to be at the piano. I kind of just wanted to play and, you know, be a five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> so I was doing lessons, just like lessons and also piano competitions. And I kind of experienced like burnout I guess at a really early age but then I you know joined jazz band in middle school and I was like okay this is a little fun and then I went to a arts high school I chose to be like a world jazz studies major so I stuck with it stuck with the piano and yeah it really wasn't until I listened to that album for the first time that I was like okay music like this exists oh I really love this and I want to do this it sounds like when you started lessons when you were so young at five there were things that you didn't like about the lessons right and something that we talk a lot about at Voyager is making sure that not only is the student learning but that they're having fun so I would love to hear what you didn't like perhaps about the way you were being taught and how you have shaped your teaching to make it the way you sort of wish that it was for you. A lot of the teaching methods I experienced were more like a mix between like lecturing, but also like very direct learning. So I really felt like I didn't have like a sense of autonomy over my musicianship. Because I guess with classical repertoire, you have to learn the notes and then you have to learn the interpretations. And a lot of it was just learning the interpretations of um, you know, other pianists that have played it before me. And that was very strict. That was one of the aspects that I maybe didn't enjoy growing up with lessons. And then another one was, I really felt like goals that were given to me. So emphasis on given to me, not goals that I formed myself, they weren't tangible. And so that made it feel really overwhelming. And, you know, I got burnt out really fast because I was expected to learn so much. I just, you know, I really felt like I needed to sort of change the way I view practicing and learning music but in a more holistic way um, and that's kind of what I preach today with my teaching philosophy I really believe in maintaining balance between instructor and student-centered approach um, that way the student does feel a sense of responsibility and the student does feel a sense of autonomy you know that this is something that they want to do and that they're able to to learn on their own I can lead you to a place where you might feel you learn the best. And I think it's important that also the student is able to just kind of like catch on to that a little bit. And, mm -hmm. um, and I find that that increases student engagement more, actually. A part of it is also being able to trust that your student is able to catch on and understand the concept. Because oftentimes it really is just having to sit with sit with it for a second. That also helps build confidence in your students too, when you are able to trust them. Um, and, you know, in turn, you might notice that they might want to practice more or they, you know, want to show that they are able to learn what you give them, but also learn a little bit more. It just kind of gives them like a little boost, like a little confidence. Yeah. Boost. I know that one of your specialties is working with students who have neuro neurodiversity. I would love to hear a little bit about that experience and how you cater the lessons to those specific students. I always felt that I had a tension or like a natural way of conversing with students who are neurodivergent. And always, the, you know, the parents would let me know like, oh, yes, you know, my 
his son or my daughter is on the spectrum um but they really love the piano and you know we just hope that you can you know keep it fun and then I was recently tested and I discovered that I also am near divergent as well so that kind of explains why I felt really comfortable and felt really natural to be able to work with these students one of the main things I noticed um, especially with students on the spectrum is the visual aspect of learning and I know that for myself I am this I'm the same way Um, it takes me a really long time if you know somebody's teaching me um orally because sometimes I just can't really process it the same way as other as other students um so what really helps me is a lot of pictures a lot of um colors as well being able to associate um concepts with images and concepts with colors and whatnot so something that I've started to apply especially with younger students who are on the spectrum is kind of having like flashcards in a way with pictures, but not overly complex pictures, like very simple pictures, almost like stick figures. This also helps with kind of maintaining like a routine or a schedule within the lesson um, so that they know what to expect during the lesson, because oftentimes it can get really overwhelming if there's always something different in the lesson. And sometimes these students really just need like a set. Okay, here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to work on the white keys. We're going to work in the black keys right now. Um, we're going to work on a listening game right now. And just having that structure is so important. And because repetition is something that they value, it's easier in a way to kind of get them to focus like, okay, so for this lesson, can we just focus on these two measures and trying to make it sound you know more musical or give it more life everybody learns differently yeah something that i've found (laughs) is that students who are neurodiverse may struggle with certain concepts that um, other students may not but Mm -hmm. they always excel in something that a lot of other students struggle with you know and it's just about how they learn you know you saying that you also Um, have some neurodiversity is something that I hear a lot from teachers who um, identify and teach really well in that world. I have some teachers who have ADHD and they teach students with ADHD so, so well because they understand the triggers, they understand what's going to get them distracted and how to get them back um, and all of that. I think that is just so, so wonderful. Maybe one last question would be, are you working on any projects um, outside of teaching that you would like to talk about? Yes, I am. So I've recently been um, composing for a new instrumentation for my group. Um, And that's two saxophones, drum set, and piano. So there's no bass. For the most part, I've kind of taken on the role of like left hand bass. Um, And I put this together in mind um, with the fact that my left hand needs a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, it's like a catch when I do. Like I, you know, want to practice my left hand more, but you know, how fun would it be to just like compose music that specifically targets that and also I can play with my friends I would really love to add non-traditional instruments as well I've been really curious about eastern asian traditional instruments and I have a really awesome mentor who specifically works in that area it'd be really cool to develop like a play of some sort Mm. like a musical play where I'm implementing these traditional instruments but in a contemporary setting so I'm really excited to see where this goes everybody thank you so much for listening and I wanted to mention that Naomi has a few spaces available for new students so if you're interested if you're interested in your child working with Naomi uh, just reach out to me and we will make that work have a good day (laughs) have a good day yeah thank you so much Jessica and I look forward to meeting you all